everybody. Welcome to Faith with Katie. I'm Katie Souza. And on today's broadcast, we're going to be talking about the most important anointing to walk in before Jesus returns. Our special guest is Coach Ron Kardashian. And I'm telling you, you've got to put your thinking cap on when you listen to Coach Ron speak because he's next level revelation on how wisdom and wealth operate and how we can step into that place, that place of expanded consciousness where we really understand how to position ourselves through the wisdom of God to cause wealth to be manifested in our lives, in our businesses, and in every part, in every part and every endeavor that we take part in. Okay, so you got to tune in and you got to share the broadcast. I want to welcome the people that are online right now. Thanks for tuning in, Alabama. Thanks for tuning in, New Jersey. I see you there, Saudi Arabia online. Thanks for tuning in to Africa. You're always online. I thank you guys for being faithful. I see people from the Bahamas. I see people from Florida. I see people from Texas. I see people from California. That, guys, thanks. Keep on chatting in and share the broadcast because everybody needs to walk in in this next level anointing of wisdom to create wealth. We cannot go any further, guys. We cannot go any further without the understanding about wealth and, and how it manifests, what it looks like, how to, how to place ourselves in, in that in that conduit to get wealth to come into its fruition in our lives. I'm telling you, I was just in the car with my assistant, Lena, and driving to the studio and saying, you know, uh, we got everything we need to go to the next level. We just now need the next level wisdom and wealth. That's why we've got Coach Ron Kardashian on the broadcast today. And man, it's going to wow you, wow you indeed. So look, before we bring Ron on, let's go and check out today's Selfie Miracle Testimony video. Check it out. Hi, my name is Carolyn. I just wanted to come on here and tell you what God has done, not only for me, but for my mom. Um, my mom was diagnosed with colon cancer. Um, a mass showed in the CT scan and also a colonoscopy and a, um, a biopsy and it came back colon cancer. CT scan also showed lymph node involvement. I am an oncology nurse and I knew what that meant. I knew that it meant um, probably the rest of her life with treatment. Um, I already knew with lymph node involvement we were looking at stage three. Um, Mom had her surgery, I flew back to New York, was with her, um, she recovered so well. And um, I'm gonna back the story up. So coming over to see Katie um, and some of her friends here, we prayed for mom, we prayed for complete healing. Um, this was four days prior to her surgery. Um, I think we prayed over an hour. Uh, God just came into our hearts and in our life and just filled us up with manifestation of miracles. Um, fast forward, surgery Monday. Mom was recovering well. She did not even need a colostomy bag. Doctor came in, he said, I took the mass out. I took up to 16 lymph nodes. Biopsy results come back next week and no lymph node involvement. The mass was taking out. Um, baseball size and no lymph node involvement, leaving my mom just stage two and hoping no treatment. She follows up next week with the oncologist. Um, so praise God, she's 72. Um, she's never gone to the doctors. She doesn't like the doctors. And we have the master physician at work. And I just wanna give him all the praises. And thanks to Katie and her friends for helping lead prayer and manifesting these miracles. God's on the move, guys. He's on the move. Now, look, if you missed the cancer episodes we did, we did two of them. Go back to our YouTube page. you got to get on our social media platforms, okay? We're on YouTube, Katie Souza. We're on Instagram, Katie Souza Ministries. Get there. Subscribe. 
follow. Because then when these live broadcasts come, like destroying cancer, you can get on and actually get a miracle while you're watching the broadcast. And I want to welcome those of you who are watching from Direct TV right now, channel 379. And I want to uh, encourage you also, don't just watch on your TV. Get on of our platforms. Get on and follow and subscribe and share broadcasts. That way you don't miss any of the live activations we're doing because we always do prayer and activations during every broadcast here on Faith with Katie. All right, now look, I've got a new master class before we bring Ron Kardashian on. I've got a brand new master class called Superhuman. Superhuman. This is such a revolutionary uh, teaching. When I, when I think of this, I, I'm astounded about how far Jesus went to defeat death to put us in a position of being able to walk in divine health, energy, vitality, youth. And there's so many scriptures. I mean, this class is packed. 11 sessions with how to ascend and to get youth. How to defeat witches and giants that steal your youth. How to break the law off your body. Because the, the Bible says when we break the law, death goes to work to put fruit for death in our bodily organs. How to defeat that. How to go into the courts and to file a case against death and to receive youth and vitality. I mean, there's one thing after another in this class called Superhuman. Check this out. Hey everybody, it's Katie Souza inviting you to join my brand new masterclass, Superhuman, the life and immortality of Jesus Christ. What does it mean to be superhuman? The definition means above human, divine, exceedingly above normal human power and capability. Believe it or not, guys, because of Jesus, because of his work on the cross and in the resurrection, we have the ability to be superhuman. The Bible even talks about in Colossians that Paul was able to preach the gospel because of the superhuman power God so mightily enkindled in him. Think about all that he went through. How was he able to go through shipwrecks and stonings and beatings and whippings and all that he suffered? Because he was filled with superhuman power. Yes, there are examples of all kinds of people in the Bible who are superhuman. I'm going to be talking about them all. Yes, this amazing course, Superhuman, the life and immortality of Jesus Christ is so filled with breakthrough that will bring you life, longevity, health, healing, divine health. You're going to be able to walk in it in every single session. I'm going to walk you through activations. You're going to take communion. You're going to receive impartations. And we go deep into worship. Join me. It's my brand new masterclass, Superhuman, the life and immortality of Jesus Christ. Wow. 11 sessions, guys. And in each session, there's multiple activations to break off death, to break off disease, to break off aging, all of that. I mean, look at Paul. We don't understand what's available to us. Paul, the apostle, did. In Colossians, it says that he was only able to preach the gospel and go through all he went through, beatings, whippings, being hit with the, the rods, shipwrecks, all of that, because God so mightily enkindled superhuman power within him. The Bible actually says those words in the Amplified Classic, superhuman power. He was superhuman. Paul was superhuman. How do I know? Remember when he got stoned? They drug his dead body out of the town, okay? And the disciples were just standing around him. They weren't even commanding him to be resurrected or anything. That proves how dead, dead he was. They never left dead bodies inside a city, would defile the city. That's why they drug his dead, dead body outside. And then they're surrounding him, looking at him. They're not even saying, we command you to rise in Jesus' name. They're doing nothing. Why? Because they're so shocked. He is so crushed in his skull and his body and cut open and bleeding out and everything else. He was dead, dead, but yet he arose he walks back into the city that just tried to kill him and the next day walks to a next city to continue preaching the gospel. Only a superhuman person could ever do that. This class is going to show you how to tap into that type of anti-death, vitality, vigor, energy, youth. Okay, you've got to get it. Here's the graphic up on the screen. Super human, the life and immortality of Jesus Christ. There's the QR code. It's only $300 and it includes three live Q and A's. 
getting to ask questions that I will answer. It's amazing stuff. Sign up today. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the class. Okay, now let's bring on today's guest so we can expand our minds to be able to walk in next level wisdom and wealth. Please welcome to the broadcast, Coach Ron Kardashian. My brother, how are you? Katie, good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay, awesome. This is this. I know what you're going to bring today is going to cause everybody to really think because anytime you and I have a conversation, I really have to focus and pay attention because you speak in a language that is definitely out of my league. I feel like, wow, I, I, I need to advance <laughs> to where you're at. Oh, you are a man. coach for many very powerful people. Yes, um, and it's a call of God, I'll tell you. And I think that's my main heartbeat is to get us to draw closer to God with the understanding that wisdom is truly a defense. This is probably the epitome of our life, our personal life, me and my family. You know, when we're, when we're destroyed in our lives, Katie, it is always due to a lack of knowledge, Hosea wow. 4, 6. It's something that I'm working on this tattoo. Um, you know, people give me a hard time. You get a tattoo. Well, God's got my name tattooed on his hand. Yes. And I'm, and I'm seriously trying to build this thing of my life story here on my arm. And I think the fullness of it comes down to understanding without knowledge, we are destroyed. And mm. so my quest for knowledge over the last 25 years has encompassed not only theology, but cognitive development, because this was the area that I was suffering in. When you say cognitive development, explain that to the people. Are you talking about being able to discern time, seasons, yeah. um, about science, technology involved in wisdom? What does this mean to you? Okay, well, the term cognitive refers to mental action. It is the brain's application to process information. It's also processing the acquisition of knowledge. It's, it's to acquire. Mm. So when we hear the scripture, St. Paul admonishes us in Romans 12, 1, be ye transformed for the renewing of the mind, that you may come to know what is the perfect and acceptable will of God. He's saying, understand what cognitive renewal is. Understand that you are coming back to a place of royalty a place in the garden, a place where I created you in full dominion. And without that consciousness, without that revelation, then our lives remain stagnant. And cognitive renewal is kind of a modern day term of saying, hey, it's mental action with processing the acquisition of knowledge. It's downloading it. And that, my dear, is what's translated wisdom. We know this in the Amplified Bible. It says that knowledge, wisdom is the application of knowledge. Mm. Right? Yeah, that one scripture says, get wisdom and in your getting, get understanding. So that's a that's part right. of that process. How do you position yourself on a daily base, basis to get wisdom and then begin to apply it? Well, let's look at first the Hebrew expository for wisdom. Um, all reference my beautiful daughter. We named her Sophia, because Sophia is the is the literal translation of the Greek word wisdom, and it means broad or full spectrum of intelligence, used of the knowledge of very diverse matters. This is straight out of one of my favorite uh, renditions of study is the Blue Letter Bible, where mm. I live. Me too. You don't have that. We we, have, we need to, our, our listeners need to, to download that. Absolutely. See, what, what, what I do and what I've done over the years is when I have fallen, I have tried to not allow guilt and shame to override my frailty of being a normal human being who has faults and sin and hurt and pain. And to your question, I've learned to find my solutions in the Word of God. 
I have found resolute and peace and resolve by instead of staying there and going, I should have done that. I wish I would have done that. I'm such a horrible person. Because what, what the enemy knows is that what you say to yourself is the essence of cognitive renewal. It no. is rewiring and refiring synoptic connections in the brain that whether they're positive or negative, Katie, they're building like muscle. And the enemy knows it. So if he can keep you linguistically in a pattern of saying, I am this, I am fat, wow. I am genetically predisposed, I will never have. But you got a big last name, Ron. You must have had money from this. If, if those neural patterns are firing, that's what we have here in our ministry called neurons that fire together, wire together. Wow. And so over, over the years, overcoming addiction, regret, shame, trauma. I mean, I have no problem saying I'm the poster child of failure. I think I've learned more in my failures, Katie, than I have in my victories. However, the difference is, is that knowledge has intervened. And, and the Lord has said to me, unless you apply the knowledge... You will always stay defeated in the place that you are and never ascend to higher places in me or your life and eventually with your own net worth. And that's where we got our whole phrase, don't just focus on net worth, concentrate on your self-worth, your identity in Christ, the, the, the language of the kingdom, understanding who you are as a superhuman person wow. in a very natural world. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so look, okay. you might think, and by the way, yes, Ron Kardashian is is a family to the famous Kardashians. He doesn't talk about it. I'm just bringing that up. And everybody might think, well, <laughs> that's why you're so successful, because you already had that. But you had trouble. I don't want to veer off too much, because I want to come back to you teaching and expounding on this. But just explain yes. where you've come from, because you had stuff happen. Oh, man. I mean, well, you. this is where I really grew akin to you is that, you know, we both spent time in jail. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not ashamed to say it. I was a three time felon all before the age of 22 years old, convicted three on three accounts. This is before they had the three to life, you know, perjury, grand mm. theft and conspiracy. Wow. I was I was involved with the wrong crowd. I'm an authority in the place of leadership now because it was such a failure. Wow. I saw the law of epigenetics in full space. And if you don't know what that is, you've got to look this up, ladies and gentlemen, because see, knowledge is increasing in the land. The word of God says it, that there's going to be an increase of knowledge. It is the job of the body of Christ to take the knowledge Download it 12 inches from your head to your heart and redigest it into wisdom because huh. wisdom is the application of it. And so what I what ended up happening was in those early years when I was completely defeated. I mean, it, it, as low as it goes, I, I remember my poor Italian mother uh, being raised in kind of a middle class family in the Silicon Valley. Um, never spent any time with the Hollywood scene. I mean, my dad was from that clan you know he's he's the kardashian and he, him and robert kardashian which is kim's cousin kim's daddy who was the oj simpson trial that they, they knew each other but i mean i've had no involvement you know over the years we've me and my wife have come from absolutely nothing mm. i mean we went all the way down to twenty four thousand dollars a year one time and now, of course, we have three very successful companies in an international ministry. But this did not come as a direct result of any handouts. No, come I on. asked for some hands up by some people, which asking it shall be given. But the application of knowledge is the key. And the principles that now I'm coaching in and um, teaching now are breaking through people through instantly. Because we don't have time now for you to spend 30 years in developing what I know. We, like you have sh shared with me, Katie, have to be able to download it in a matter of seconds. Yes. And if, if you apply these principles that we have and you use the tools, as people forget about this all the time, is that, you know, when we suffer from ailments, 
we don't try to pop the hood of our body and get underneath and look at our own heart. We go to a heart specialist. Right. You know, we go to a brain specialist. We go to a diabetes specialist. And it's through that that we acquire the knowledge to then overcome the atrocity. And that's the simplitude of Ron Kardashian's ministry. It is, let's take what you've got. Let's find where you are. Let's scan the brain. Let's see the strongholds because now we have the technology to do that. And then let's write the pathway to your freedom because you get the opportunity to write your script. The enemy has been lying to us by saying, this is the card you've been dealt. And that's not the truth. The truth is we've been set free and now we need to apply the wisdom of that freedom and get moving and acquire the success that we know we're called to do. You know, honestly, this is so profound, but yet it's so simplistic in its nature yes. for you to say, you know, that uh, when what we're saying to ourselves, that can be positive or negative cognitive activity. So, guys, it just yes. goes back to what do you believe? What are you saying to yourself? What are you letting yourself meditate on? What are you letting yourself um, speak out loud about yourself? I mean, oh, yeah. the simplicity of that is is just applying the wisdom of God and it becomes knowledge. It becomes cognitive renewal. It can renew your mind. Uh, and here's the thing. And here's the thing, Katie. It happens very quickly. Um, you know, write this down if, if you guys are taking notes. Nothing becomes dynamic until it becomes specific. Wow. Nothing becomes dynamic wow. until it becomes specific. So if you are dynamically traumatized, which is something I have deep empathy for, at times you cannot just in the name of Jesus this thing and let it go away. There is a cognitive healing that takes place. Not negating miracles, believe for it. As you said, nothing is impossible for them that believe. It is in the believing that faith is active and the manifestation comes. But the, the, the problem is, is as you're waiting for it, as you are through faith, we inherit the problems through faith and patience. Patience is the caveat that I'm realizing most leaders and ministers, they're growing impatient. And that is sending a neurological charge to the brain to say, you are out of time. Wow. This is taking too long. Wow. God's not coming through for you. And it is that process in the cognitive connection, the synaptic connections, you have negative and positive ones. And what they're doing is they're fusing together. So what St. Paul was saying is, listen, be transformed. Metanoia is the word for transformation, right? We get the word metamorpho, which comes from the word metamorphosis. Yep. And what he is saying is that I'm looking for an introspection to take place. I'm looking for you to dive deeper, Jacob, as we see in, in Genesis 32. When he wrestled with Jacob, very fascinating here. He says to him, he wrestled with him, and the Bible says that he touched his hip. Well, when you study why did he touch the hip, he actually touched the sinew. And the sinew, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is the ligament. Look this up right here. It's in the Bible. It's amazing. And I said to the Lord, why did you touch the sinew? Sinews connect muscle to bone. God was looking at the inner infrastructure of Jacob's life, oh, the bone oh, structure. Oh. And he wanted to see, do you have the stability Whoa. to stand in the midst of opposition oh. and fight the good fight of faith? <laughs> I told you this was going to blow your mind, you guys. Okay, so look, you really hit on something. You said that as we're, as we're waiting and we become impatient, that we yes. actually set up a neural pathway to our brain to believe, well, God's not going to show up. It, we're in permanent delay. It's not going to happen. I mean, yes. that's basically what you said, right? Can you minister out of that place? Because honestly, I think we've all set up the neural pathways to oh, yeah. actually believe that. And we're all becoming, you know, despondent, you know, hope deferred makes the heart sick. We're, we're in yes. that place because we've convinced ourselves out of our letting ourselves become impatient that God isn't yes. going to show up, that it's not going to happen, that it's never going to manifest, that we're not going to see the fruit. And I believe that then the neural pathway that we've set up with that impatience is actually going to prevent the manifestation. Am yeah. I right about that? And what can we do? Yes. 
Well, it's really beautiful, if I may. Proverbs 23, 7, nothing is impossible for them that believe. So if you believe the lie, nothing becomes impossible for that lie. Wow. 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 This, this, this was my problem for 20 years. Wow. The, the more admittant you become to say, that's me, instantly promotion is there. Why? Wow. Humility precedes honor. So as soon as you're hearing me, you say, that's me. Boom. All of a sudden, get ready to be honored. And the honor will come through the supernatural now aspect of God's involvement, which downloads the deutimous power that we are you so beautifully talk about all the time. But that, that word deutimous is also exousia, which means an electrical current will fall through and I, uh, this is just, you know, the book of Ron in my own study. You know, I've written a few books. You can grab, we're going to give this one away for yeah. free. Mm. I don't want to promote that now. But it, the, what, what we've done is that we we know that when God hits the strand on a chord as David was playing, there was a frequency in the tone of the worship. Now, when you look at that under electromagnetic expansion, when you can look at at the sound waves, they are electrical. Ladies and gentlemen, your brain is a bunch of electrical currents. Wow, come on. And so so when wow. you are praising and when you are saying, Lord, help me, there is a digitization taking place. And it's at that point that you say, I believe that I've received this and a new neuron fires. Wow. In conjunction with the anointing. Whoa, whoa. And a lot of people haven't been able to articulate this, but I have become like a student try to diagnose the logic behind God's illogical ways. It says the wisdom of God is foolishness to them that are perishing. But to them that have e life in them, eternal life, it is the essence of all ailments and cures. Wisdom is a defense. Ecclesiastic says it. Wow. It will defend and protect you. So I encourage you to look at the Word of God as knowledge is also defense, but there's only one that can give you life, and that's wisdom. Okay, look, uh, we have some brain scans. We're going to show them to you, but first I want to play this video. It's just 15 seconds long of just some of the people that are endorsing Coach Ron Kardashian. This is the Jesse Duplantis. Let's look at it world-renowned human performance expert, executive coach, best-selling author. Over 12,000 hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentorship. He's a health and cognitive expert. Known as a spiritual confidant to respected industry leaders. CEO of three companies. Coach and minister, Ron Kardashian. Good friend, Coach Ron Kardashian. Yeah, Ron, you got a lot of people's ear. A lot of people respect and honor you. And, you know, not that many people know who you are. And that's one of the reasons why we're doing this broadcast, because we wanted Thank to you. point, you know, people's attention to you and some of the things that you have available. By the way, guys, uh, Ron just lost. We won't, you know, you know how politics are and all that. His IG account. He's formed a new IG account. It's called Coach Ron Kardashian. Now, the little tidbits that he gives on the Instagram, man, they're worth you going to follow his page because you're going to get these little shorts that are like, you know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds long, whatever, that'll change your outlook, that'll change your day, that'll cause you to shift uh, where you've been putting your attention on in a negative place that's forming an, uh, a neuron path in your brain that will destroy you and shift it so you can form new neural pathways in your mind that will cause you to have prosperity increase. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, manifestation. So we're going to put up the screen again. Um, he needs to build his Instagram because he got it ripped out from underneath him. Here it is. Coach Ron Kardashian. Please go follow his IG account so that he can build. Um, I got to play another video. Come back because, look, th this is just a little tidbit of some of the great shorts that you're going to get. When you follow his page, let's roll that other video, guys, with Money Doesn't Ever Make You Happy. Go. Does money buy happiness? Over the holiday season, I sat down with a good friend of mine who's done nine figures. He sat down with this billionaire, and first thing he said was, Ronnie, this gentleman is miserable.
measurable. He said, and the more wealthy people I'm talking to that reach a certain high level in wealth where they're retired, they haven't found the fullness. Stanford Graduate School came out with this study. They did 500 people in 123 countries, and they said the relationship between income and happiness is influenced by a sense of one's meaning in life, not just the monetary means. I want to challenge it at best. If you've reached a millionaire or billionaire status, you are only 50% there. Why? We find this in the words of King Solomon, who was quite arguably probably the wealthiest man who ever lived. It says in chapter 7, verse 12 in the book of Ecclesiastics, wisdom and money can get you almost anything, but only wisdom can save your life. The fact that there's an opportunity for eternal life rather than just going to the grave is a form of wisdom. And that, my friends, is what saves your life. I'm going to have Ron comment on that in just a second, but once again, let's throw up his IG. Uh, He lost his IG followers for reasons that you can only speculate. Um, I'm sure that you understand (laughs) what's been happening in the world today. Um, Hmm. There it is. Coach Ron Kardashian, he's starting his IG account over. Please go to it and follow. Comment on some of the things that you said in that short clip. Well, it's really fascinating. You know, I live in the Silicon Valley here. I've been begging my wife to move us to... uh, Texas for the last 10 years. I could probably live in a 10,000 square foot house for the same price as we're paying over here. It's just, but you know, the Lord has said, if all the good believers leave out of California, what type of salvation is there for this state? And my involvement now has moved into the political sector where I'm coaching. I just interviewed uh, a gentleman who's running for a council member of the second largest county in California. You got LA County and then Alameda County. And um, it's, it's been such a challenge, but we'll tell you this, I've also met some of the wealthiest people in the world. And here's the thing that my ministry lane is, is it's all about optimizing health. Healthy thinking leads to healthy believing. And beliefs, Katie, are what create new behaviors. Beliefs create behavioral change. Yeah. Mm. And so that's that's a mantra we must memorize. My beliefs create my behavior. So if I want to change my behavior, I want to become more free or successful or involved or a part of the ministries or ministering. I have to change my belief system about what I believe about me. Amen. So interviewing a lot of these billionaires and millionaires, it's very fascinating that they all believe a certain thing about themselves that has caused him to reach such monetary levels of success. Come on. And I don't know about you, but most of the body of Christ that I'm involved in, uh, aside from these amazing ministers who've been my mentors, all of those guys you just saw, Pastor Bill Winston's been my pastor, Jesse Duplantis has been a great mentor and friend. Um, you know, they, aside from them, the, the believer is still aspiring for two things one healing and two wealth and here the belief system hence the term we are believers is god has provided for them both in fact third john chapter 1 verse 2 is explicit on john's articulation who was the revelator of love i mean he was the one who was I like to say really up on himself. He he said, I am his beloved. Yeah. The disciple who Jesus loves. You know know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, But but he did say that um, he wishes above all things God wishes that we be in health and prosper. Rewind back to the belief system. Mm. These billionaires and millionaires here believe that they were called to be wealthy. Come on. And as a result of that calling, they have manifested it. Now, I will say this. Some of them have fallen in love with it because money is very addicting. Yeah. And that's where the danger is. So this one billionaire that I was talking about and and one of my famous um, reverberations from one of my mentors is money just makes you comfortable while you're miserable. Wow. If you don't have God at the center of it to allocate where the money needs to go. Wow. And that's why we made that video, because you're only 50% there, even if you've reached the highest level, Katie, of monetary success without what you and I are talking about. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, look, this is really good stuff. You know, you can have some more of this good stuff 
by having Ron <laughs> coach you. We're going to be showing some brain scans in a moment, and Ron's going to walk us through that. But I just want to say that Ron has an amazing program. It's called the Three Day Challenge. You can go to it at Three Day Challenge net forward slash Katie. And uh, why the forward slash Katie? I'm not making any money off this, but because you watched it here, you're going to get two thousand dollars off this program. You know, Ron has coached many people into high levels of success. We have to start investing in ourselves. We have yes. to start investing in knowledge, start investing in receiving wisdom, start investing in our futures. It's like, you know, we just can't believe that we can just go along the same path we always have been and expect the next level manifestation to come to pass. We've got to walk into these types of opportunities. And this mentorship program, it's, it's called the Elite Level Executive Validation Program. Elite Level Executive validation program. You're going to get validated as an elite executive. You will be able to operate on that level. And you're thinking, well, you know, I'm not yeah. called to do that. I think we all need that level of knowledge to do whatever yeah. God has called us to do. Even if it's prison ministry or homeless ministry, we need to be so smart about the kingdom, so wise and knowledgeable about the ways and works of God that so that anything we touch will be able to, God will be able to breathe on it. A lot of you have not seen the breathing of God on your project because you've not set up a structure or a foundation like he said touching the sinews of Jacob's hip he was testing <laughs> his 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 foundation he was testing his his building it, it, did he have the internal yeah. structure to handle the blessing of being called a brand new name do you have that if you don't you need to get it you need to go to three day challenge with the number three dot net forward slash Katie and sign up for the Elite Level Executive Validation Program. It's going to be amazing. And when you do, guys, you're going to get this free book, 30-Second Solution, that Ron wrote. This is amazing stuff. He's going to autograph it for you. You get it for free when you sign up for the class. I'm going to dig into this myself and beg my brother to give me uh, some mentoring, too. Because I'm ready to go next level, amen? So get this for free autograph when you sign up for the class. Ron, I want to look at these brain scans. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about this and, and explain what you're demonstrating here. I, I really love this depiction of the five brains. Five is the number of grace. And God has continually sprinkled the color of his kingdom, you know, upon my life. It's, it, I, I can't even say it without almost crying because, you know, there's this beautiful scripture I've been meditating on for many, many years, but it's really taken effect. It's Philippians 2.13. It says, not in your own strength, for it is God all the while effectually at work in you, energizing and creating in you the power and the desire both to will, which is the most important part, your will, the mind, mind, will, 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 emotions, the soul, mind, will, emotions, to will and to do for his good pleasure, satisfaction and delight. And over the years, seeing people suffer from demonic strongholds, he, you know, he admonishes us in 2 Corinthians 10, 5, casting down imagination and judgments. The word imagination there, Katie, is called a conscious past. <laughs> a conscious past. You are making a conscious decision to allow the imagination to pass. And he's saying, don't do that. When you get diagnostic tools on your brain, much like you would get a diagnostic on the heart, diagnostic on the colon, for those who are getting older, you know, colonoscopy, you know, everyone has got to get these checks. When I talk to leaders of industry, senior pastors, I said, when's the last time you got your blood pressure checked? Oh, it's been a while. Well, I did it though. When's the last time you got your brain checked? And they go, never. I go, then how do you know what cognitive ailments wow. and strongholds <clears throat> you're dealing with? Wow. Aside from the spiritual warfare that you experience on the outside, what are the internal belief systems that have subconsciously rooted themselves in your spirit and in your soul? Wow. And Katie, we can get those data analytics in a matter of 30 seconds. Wow. That's what the assessment is doing. So now I have entire church organizations saying, will you do the whole leadership team? 
because what we can do is we can find out the cognitive strengths and areas of focus and places where we can alleviate tension, disrupt the belief system, and begin to beautify and color Whoa. the brain once again. Do you see and that, guys? Just, We're building it, strongholds in our mind. Sometimes we yes, need you, more than just a supernatural. We need to take what God has given us as far as wisdom and do these things like brain assessments. Do you perform those yourself, uh, Ron? Do you have somebody perform those types of... You know, it's so beautiful. Now everything is done online. So when people join our program, it's it's basically a three-week program. And it's it's so beautifully done that you meet online on Zoom with one of our neuroscientists. Everyone here is spiritual... Uh, born again believers and everyone's spirit filled. And th this is the blending though that's been missing in the medical community. Of course, um, the guy that did the forward on my book, Dr. Daniel Amen, a lot of people know him. He's a good Christian brother, but he is the leading psychologist right now in the nation, probably quite arguably the most famous. And you know, when I went to him, I said, doc, listen, I said, if you tell me that the brain cannot get better and this was before the law of neuroplasticity was really, really going gangbusters. Neuro is nerve, plasticity comes from a word pliable. It's really the proof of St. Paul's address that the brain can actually stretch and augment wow. and change. So it says, if you don't have what you want, we now have the way to build it, wow. create it, develop it, become it. And hence, nothing's impossible for them that believe. Wow. And so Eamon looked at me and he said, uh, Ron, the cerebral frontal cortex, which is the frontal lobe of the brain, is involved in everything that we do. Impulse control, focus, and forethought. Well, I thought, hot darn, I got trouble in all three of those areas. Focus, <laughs> forethought, impulse control. I mean, being a recovered addict, that is the fullness of a lack of emotional maturity and impulse control. I had every minister that you can imagine lay hands on me. I, you, you know, I, I worked for Pastor Benny Hinn back in the day. Yeah. I was at all the greatest revivals, still an addict. Why didn't I come out of it? Why wasn't I delivered? I wasn't delivered until I got the knowledge, until I sowed the seed into myself. I was sowing seeds into everyone else's ministry. And the Lord said, when are you going to sow a seed into your own brain? Wow. And that's when the game changed, because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe that I was worthy enough to spend any kind of money on me. Wow. And you know, the sicker I got, the more desperate. And once you get desperate, it's at the place of desperation, Jacob, that I got to wrestle with you. And I got to touch the sinew. I got to go deeper. He didn't heal him. He actually broke him. Wow. And it's in the breaking, Katie, that we find the greatest miracle. Amen. And God is just saying, when are you going to stop lying to yourself wow. and just ask and it shall be given? Ask for the help. <clears throat> it's not just me. I'm sending people like Katie Souza and Jesse Duplantis, right, and, and, and my pastor and these leaders and Coach Ron. And everyone's making excuses. Excuses are the nails that build the walls of delays. Wow. And that's why the delay and the denial is happening, is because we're building it in our own head. God's a now faith God, and he will do it now for you, but you've got to act it as faith without works. Belief is the word for works, is dead. You know, the, these brain assessments, you're saying that they can show us the neural pathways that have been established in our brain, which we as Christians would call strongholds. And then yes. you're able to break those strongholds because you've actually been able to identify what they are. Is that correct? Yes. Identify in order to defy. That's a beautiful word. I Katie. love that. Because identification creates an ID. Yes. I mean, you have to show an ID to get into every nightclub and bar back in the day, right? Why? They were identifying you. Well, the problem is, is that we've never shown our own ID to ourselves. And quite honestly, and in everybody's defense, we didn't have the technology to do it. I believe that I am part of one of the end time Daniel anointings, and I believe there are many of us, I'm not the only one, that have a 10x anointing on us that is able to give a word of knowledge and you will multiply 10 times the amount. Now think about this just logically. 
why would God raise up Daniel to have him serve as an advisor to a corrupt king and give him 10 times the amount of wisdom and insight than mm. all of his soothsayers and, and fortune tellers were able to do? Why would he give a corrupt man that? God was trying to show himself boss, that he always takes his methods and works them through a man. God wow. always takes his methods and works them through a man or a woman. Man as in the denotation of man, woman, man with a womb. Um, just for clarification. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but what happens here is that now that we're in an era of elevated knowledge, where knowledge is increasing in the land, wouldn't it behoove us as believers to have God negate giving the 10x measure to a corrupt king and give it to a beautiful believer like yourself? Yeah, come on. That's where we are right now. And so that's why I had to develop these assessment diagnostic tools. And it's basically an x-ray of all the cognitive strongholds we deal with. And here's the thing. Hosea 4.6 gives us the answer. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Yes. Comma. Comma. Why? Because you have rejected knowledge, my beautiful priest. Wow. He was not talking to the secular world. He was talking to the clergy. Come on. He was talking to those who have a call in ministry. Do not reject that. Don't reject the knowledge. Get it. With all thy getting, gain knowledge. And with all the gaining of knowledge or wisdom, gain understanding. And so the assessments give a comprehensive understanding, and you are no longer destroyed. You've got wow. the knowledge. Wow. And How it's can unbelievable. So, so these, these, these brain assessments are part of your class, correct? Part mm -hmm. of your program, yeah. the top the elite level executive validation program is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Guys, you got to sign up. We're gonna put it up. We're gonna put it up again. Um, I'm gonna get one because I believe that we need to not only tap into the supernatural knowledge of and wisdom of God, uh, but also the scientific. Um, these scientific methods and methodologies that are available to us in this technologically advanced world that we're in right now. We have to tap That's into all point. the above so that we can really get a fullness of what's going on in our minds and our bodies so that we can break free of these neural pathways that we develop through negative, uh, you know, negative self-talk, negative thinking. Uh, Ron, you know, it's the foolish things that confound the wise is what you're saying. What do you, give us one thing you feel like Daniel did. Uh, was he just sovereignly chosen? Was it because he prayed three times a day? Because he fasted? Uh, give us one reason why you feel that he became so gifted with knowledge that he indeed, the scripture says, he was more knowledgeable than the soothsayers and the magicians of that age, of that world. Well, you know, behind you, you've got on the screen there, Ignite Your Calling, which when you go to the website, you'll see that the epitome or the zenith of my ministry is getting people out of their career into their calling. Because, you know, the word of God is implicit here. This is a warning now. Of course, us prophets need to give loving warnings, but it's an edification. The Lord is going to return. You know, the average lifespan is only 30,000 days. That's 80 years, Katie on the earth. Think about this. 30,000 days, we sleep half of those away. That's 15. By the age of 75, we will have slept 25 years. That's only 720,000 hours. Daniel had an awareness of time, dimension, and concepts, a lost art in the body of Christ today. We need to come back down to the root system and understand the anointing and the power of God's plan, his sovereign plan on the earth, and align with it. But you cannot align with something you're not in alignment with. It's very simple. Mm. So how do you get back in alignment is the question. You do it through assessing behavior. That's now, so you can do these assessments at home. You could, you could do a personal assessment yourself. I always like to give little nuggets just in case someone couldn't afford it or didn't want to get it. That's cool. I want to make sure you get the breakthrough. Back to the word wisdom is what Daniel was endowed with. He prayed for wisdom. Solomon, what did he pray for? Wealth and riches? No, he prayed for wisdom. Wisdom is going to be one of the single most important anointings in the end times that the body of Christ must capture. 
and we must emulate it. We must live it. We must breathe it. We must pray for it. We must ask God for it, and he will give it. He said, let those who lack wisdom, let them ask of God who gives liberally and upbraideth not, meaning he has no restriction on it. And I have found that oftentimes when God is ready to promote a man or a woman, he'll do so through an introduction. Mm. It's our relationship. That's right. Oh, okay. every, time God, every time God wanted to promote wow. someone, he did so by introducing it. So here's the introduction. Here's the breakthrough of wisdom, which holds the term science and learning. And you can look at that in the Greek form of the word Sophia. The etymology of the word literally means get science, get learning, and get wisdom with all you're getting. Okay. I want you to listen to that. And even in the practical sense about, it's all about an introduction. A lot of you guys have a project right now. You're not able to fund it. You're not able to move forward. You're not able to build. You're not able to do the vision God has downloaded in your heart. Why? Because you needed a, even an introduction in the natural. Okay, an introduction to a person. Well, you know, in 2 Chronicles 9, it says that the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon. What did she hear about? She heard about how smart he was, how much wisdom and knowledge he had. And then it says that when she came to see him, verse 2 says, and Solomon answered all her questions. You've got to get wisdom and knowledge, and then you're going to get an introduction because people are going to hear about the yeah. fact that you have answers to all their questions. They don't need you right now. If you haven't had an introduction, it's because you don't have enough wisdom yet. Look, let's put it back up on the screen about the three-day challenge, threedaychallenge.net forward slash Katie. This is Ron's uh, program. Okay, it's the elite level executive validation program. Ron's giving $2,000 off for people that, that go and sign up. You might think, well, I don't, I'm not going to have enough money for what, you know, the class costs even after the discount. You don't have enough, you don't have enough to not do the class. Because you don't have yes, the introduction. True. You don't have Queen of Sheba hearing how smart you are. You don't have her coming and bringing wealth and riches with her to get all the answers that you're going to be able to give her because you're filled with wisdom. This class is super important. And you're going to get the free book, 30 Second Solution. Ron's going to sign it for you. And when you sign up, Ron, um, you know, I love the story of Solomon most of all. I mean, Daniel and Solomon, two of my big heroes, I think we have to continue to seek wisdom, cry out for wisdom, and all yes. the other things that the Bible says that we can do, and God will answer. How confident do you feel about, about a, a generation of people now actually elevating to next-level wisdom? I feel it's a mandatory behavioral trait. It is a learned behavior that we, you know, my wife for years, let me, let me just show some of my scars. Uh, for many years, I, I was a very, like, upset and angry person. I was deep down inside frustrated with my call. I had a lack of mentorship. Mentorship was the caveat to the breakthrough for mm -hmm. me. And it is why I'm dedicating my whole life as a mentor. Now, of course, I'm mentoring mentors of mentors, right? Leaders of leaders. But that wasn't always the case. It is absolutely mandatory that you understand when you take time to sow seed into the soil of your own life, you immediately get a harvest. This is something that the body of Christ hasn't taught. I believe a lot of pastors, of course, needed the funding for their church, so they were not advocating this, which is okay, because I teach them, hey, listen, you're not a fundraiser anyway. Quit trying to raise money. Let God do it. The key is, is to give people the tools and the equipment to let them discover the pathway of God's secret treasure. And that's why these we give these programs. It's an opportunity for you to say, you know, I need to sow seed into my own soil. I believe in myself the most. And I believe of the 30, 60, and 100-fold return. This is what happens when I'm coaching this generation was like, how much do you believe in you? So back to my wife, uh, when I was growing up, being being filled with anger and upset, she used to tell me, you know, God's not going to just remove that from you. You've got a brain to control your mouth. Wow. Listen to my wife now. And I would go back to a belief system. Watch this. This is my own scar. I would say, I'm Italian. Ah. I'm loud. I've been traumatized. I've been abandoned. People have hated on me. 
She goes, you can't stand the fire. Get out the kitchen. Wow. Whoa. You got to make a choice to get out. So for years, I coach people in the weight room, right? We say, you know, your, your, your love walk determines your weight loss. I, just let me say something here, okay? What I'm saying is that when you begin to love yourself at a deeper level, then you're able to be coached because you won't pay for it. You won't get the help. You'll, you'll think I, was, I had a genetic disposition. And that's what I thought. I thought I, had, I was predisposed to a genealogy. This is how the Italians are. We're loud people. I'm also an extrovert. I'm an evangelist. And now I'm a prophetic anointing. Do you hear me, woman? You know? <laughs> and she said, that ain't going to cut it. And as a result of that, I will admit something very deep. I saw my wife suffer from traumatic medical ailments because I was not listening to her. Wow. And hear me, men of God. If you are still using your tongue to abuse women, in any form or shape, wow. it is the judgment seat of God that has already fallen, and I have felt it. Wow. I'm living it. I understand it. Wow. Because life or death is in the power of the tongue. You cannot misappropriate this proverb. Proverbs is the definition of rulership. It literally means in the Hebrew, I have it right here in my notes. I added it later because I felt it was important to mention this. It is the quest of wisdom, Katie. Wow, come on. That's what it means. It means to rule, to, reign, to rule over. Again, wow. re-articulating the single most important anointing that we can ask God for, oh, aside from the deliverance, is give me the wisdom to apply my new behavior so that I can have a full transformation and experience real metanoia, real repentance, real change of heart. Okay, so look, we've only got like literally a minute left. I need you to pray us out. Go, coach. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, that everyone listening within the sound of my voice would be filled with the spirit of wisdom and revelation, that the, that the eyes of their heart, according to Ephesians 1, will be flooded with light, that they would come to know the hope of your calling, and the immeasurable riches of your glorious inheritance that you have laid up for them. In any way I can be of service, I will serve you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And Father, I join with Ron's prayer. It says when we cry out for wisdom, God gives it to us abundantly. He doesn't hold back. I want you guys to just continually cry out. Seek mentorship. Seek the Holy Spirit. Seek education. Speak, seek wisdom and knowledge, and you're going to get it. Okay, there's, once again, the threedaychallenge.net forward slash Katie. Get in this mentorship program, guys, because in order for us to go through this, this end time um fire furnace that we're in we've got to have next level insight wisdom and revelation okay we're out of time coach ron kardashian we just love you so much i can't wait to do another broadcast with you thank you katie love you so much thank you for the opportunity god bless you my friend okay guys i love you i'll see you next week